Assalamu alaikum, my name is Yasser Yaz and today our topic is about the agarose gel electrophoresis. How we prepare the agarose. First of all, I want to give a little bit background about the gel electrophoresis. Uh, what is gel electrophoresis and why we use gel electrophoresis? After gel electrophoresis is used to separate the DNA on base pair soils, visualization and purification. Gel electrophoresis, we use gel electrophoresis for separating different DNA fragment on base pair size. Uh, we use, in case of gel electrophoresis, we use electric field. Due to electric field which apply in gel electrophoresis apparatus separate or move the negatively charged DNA fragment toward the positive electrodes and during that movement DNA fragments are separate out the smaller DNA fragment move faster and larger DNA fragment move slowly so now we discuss which type of instrument and chemicals which we use and what is the procedure of agarose gel electrophoresis how we prepare the agarose gel the instruments and chemicals which we use number one the instrument which use is floss it depends on you how much agarose gel you want to prepare so according to your condition you will select the floss 250 ml 500 ml or 1000 ml Number second instrument which we use is miring cylinder. Actually, miring cylinder is used to mire the buffer solution. How much buffer solution we will take for the preparation of agarose gel? Number third, agarose gel electrophoresis. Number third, gel electrophoresis instrument which used to apply the electric field and number fourth pipettes different types of pipettes are used how much amount uh, we want to take uh, from the sample or other solutions if, uh, and the tips different types of tips are used yellow tips blue tips white tips and number fifth gel dog Gel dock is used when we want to visualize the gel to see the DNA fragments which separate on the basis of base pairs size like uh, if one fragment is uh, 200 base pair and other is 250 base pair then we easily visualize these two fragments on the fragments on the gel in gel dock Wing balance Wing balance is used when we measure the agarose, how much quantity of agarose we need to prepare the agarose gel. In case of chemicals, we use agarose, TAE buffer, loading dye, loading dye bromophenol. Ethidium bromide. We use ethidium bromide to visualize the DNA in on the gel. Gel ke, on the gel. If we want to visualize the DNA, then we used ethidium bromide. And now the procedure which we perform for agarose gel. In this case, first of all we will take agarose how much quantity we measure 
how much we need agaros it depends on your fragments how much fragments are differentiate what are the difference of base pairs between the fragments like if you want to separate out the fragments of 20000 to 50000 base pairs then you used different percent concentration of agarose like 0.5% concentration 0.6% concentration different types of concentration of agarose we used when we separate out different types of fragments like if we want to separate out 10 base pairs to 200 base pairs of fragments then we change the agarose concentration which we prepare it depends on your sample it depends on your experiment which type of agarose you want either 5% concentration of agarose 6% concentration 2% concentration it all depends on your experiment first of all we made the agarose on bean panels then we put this agarose into the flask and plus pae buffer when we put these two products into the flask then we shake gently so that these things properly mix up uh, mix with each other prepare a mixture then we place this flask into the oven at 100 degree centigrade for 1 minutes when the solution of flask start to boil we remove out from the oven and put on the table for some time so that temperature of agarose solution low down after cooling when the temperature is low down at 50 degree centigrade to 55 degree centigrade then we add ethidium bromide when we add ethidium bromide in the flask then we gently shake the flask so that agarose gel not solidified in the flask after the shaking we set a plastic tray along with comb and pour the flask solution into the plastic tray for solidification of agarose gel in this case we will give 30 minutes to 40 minutes for solidification it depends on you how much time you give little bit 30 minutes you will give also 35 minutes 40 minutes when the gel solidify then you take out the combs from the gel and plus you put buffer solution into the gel electrophoresis box when we remove the comb comb creates well into the gel these well we used for the sample loading how we sample load first we take purified sample powder and mix with the loading dye create a mixture of loading dye and sample why we use loading dye we use loading dye so that we can easily see how much our sample travel in the gel when we mix these two products loading dye and sample then we load the sample into the wells of gel after loading the sample 
we put the gel in gel operators gel electrophoresis operators and run the operators by setting volt and ampere volt and ampere setting is very critically and compulsory if you cannot properly set the volt and ampere and not adjust the time then you will never you will never collect the result properly because sometime when you give maximum volt and maximum ampere and give lot of time then your sample move outward from the gel they move into the buffer solution your product your sample your bands cannot show on the gel so you properly set the volt and ampere on the gel electrophoresis operators before run the gel before run the operators properly when you run the operators then you give some time 20 minutes 30 minutes it's up to you according to your sample size according to your gel concentration according to your gel length you give proper time according to your fragment size you will give some time when you think your fragment is moving down from the wells in the middle or near the edges of lost edges then you stop the instrument and took out the gel from the gel apparatus and buffer solution when you took out the gel then you see the dna fragments of different base pairs or dna bands on the gel in gel top through gel top you will see the picture on computer which show your bands how much bands you obtain how they travel how what is the length of your base pairs what is the length of your band, bands which you obtain so our today lecture is finished uh, in this uh, whole procedure we will see we will understand how we prepare the agarose gel so god bless you